think we may have just discovered a very affordable dupe. Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you stick around and subscribe if you're not new and you've been here for a while then why not make sure the notification bell is switched on just to be notified of every single time that I upload now revolution have a brand new collection on the block so for today's video we are going to be testing out the entire new like mood switch collection I was actually very fortunate enough to be sent this which is very kind of revolution and I thought I would do a review video for you because it has got a few items in there a couple of bits I'm more excited about than others this collection seems to have like a bit of like a festively naughty sort of theme to it so we'll definitely have a play around with the products and see what we think okay let's do a little overview of the collection so firstly you have this bag I've put all the bits inside it um this is the holographic makeup bag this retails for £9.99 it is quite a big one and you can like fold it out and make it a little bit bigger so you can fit more in here than it looks like you can also comes this really cute like bead detail on the zip so in the collection you get a liquid luminizer you get a couple of complexion products you get an eyeshadow palette and you also get three lip balms so let's get on into testing i think firstly we're going to start off with this this is the mood switch aura highlight in tripping pink this is what the packaging looks like and this is essentially a luminator for your face and your body. It's a high impact liquid glow for the face and body giving your skin a gorgeous glass like shine. This multi-dimensional formula is perfect for all skin tones. Get ready to achieve a luxe glossy wet look. Now the reason I've not set my face is because the description is it's giving it's going to look really wet on the skin and I'm not a massive fan of that personally um, and because we have the like, powder illuminator I think I am going to pop this on underneath my powder see if it shines through and then we can put the powder on top so this is what the applicator looks like I'm just going to squeeze some oh my god that was quite a lot so this is what it looks like as you can see it does have um, like pink reflex in there that is actually really pretty I imagine on the body that would look really nice as well but yeah I'm just a bit like skeptical of the formula because it does have that more like I don't want to say oily but that just more like maybe oily type of formula with a load of shimmer particles in it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the like bum of my sponge and I'm just going to dab the product on there just realize I've not got a mirror and I'm going to dab this on my cheeks. Hmm. Okay. I think I blended it out too much because it's pretty much dried down. I think I waited too long. So I'm just going to dab it straight from that initial application. Oh, yeah, that's better. Oh, wow. It's very pink. Can you see that? So the more you sort of like blend it out, the more less sort of wet looking it is it does definitely give a nice like pink glow to the skin but i think if you just like initially dab it on your face it will give that more like wet glossy look but i actually like how this looks i definitely prefer that i just want to wait and let that sit for a second and see if it dries down or if it still is going to give that like more tacky finish i definitely don't think this would have gone well on top of powder it's not like the made by mitchell blur lights where they dry down really like powdery on the skin it does have that wet formula to it so I personally would do this again like put it on underneath yeah so it is slightly tacky um confirming that I definitely would not put this on top of powder for me personally I have oily skin I have to set my skin in place and I feel like if I was to put this on top of my powder it would start to separate my makeup so yeah I'm quite happy with that though I do love that it gives that more glow it looks really really shimmery on my hand I'm not sure if you can see that um, it also has like a gold to pink reflect, which I didn't notice before. It's really pretty. Um, but on the skin, like blended out, it just gives that more like pink glow. And I really like it. Okay, so I've just set my face down in place. I used the Laura Mercier powder and my Glow Bronzer by Revolution. If you're wondering about the base products I used, I used the Huda Glow Jam as a primer, Skin Silk as foundation, and the IRL Concealer as concealer. Now we can delve into these. So firstly, we have the Neo Pink 
blush and then we have the prism pressed powder now i know that this is essentially maybe like the hourglass one where it gives you like a glow but personally for me as someone with oily skin this i cannot set my entire face with this product so i'm essentially going to use this as like a highlighter to just make the high points of my face glow then obviously we're going to use this which i'm very excited about so firstly we're going to apply this so this is the aura blush universal pink it says, your new favourite blush has arrived, grace cheeks with a natural rosy flush using the Mood Switch Aura Blush in Universal Pink, perfect for enhancing your natural blush tone. This complexion complementing powder suits all skin tones, leaving the skin with a subtle radiance all day. This retails for £6.99. I don't think I told you how much the illuminator is, this is £5.99. I love that on the sticker, like on the seal sticker, it says what the name of the product is. I think that's really cool. So this is the colour here. I love that the packaging itself is holographic. That is so pretty to look at. I do think £6 is quite expensive for such a little blush like that. But, oh my God, does this look, this looks like Dior Rosa Glow, doesn't it? Hang on a sec. Because I just realised the imprint on it looks similar too. So these are the two compared. Oh my goodness. Do we have a dupe on our hands? They look identical. Okay. Also, before I apply that blush, I completely forgot to update you on the liquid highlighter. So, when I face the light, um, you can see the pink shimmer reflex in it. So, this is definitely a type of liquid highlighter for me that I can see underneath powder, which for me is much better than a lot of them where they're just like glowy under the skin. So, when I set my face down, you can't really see it. But this gives a really nice glow when it hits the light. I think that's super pretty. It also set really nice with powder because, I don't know, I feel like with some liquid highlighters, when you set it down, it just goes all weird on the skin. But this set completely down. And now you're left with just a little bit of pink shimmer under the skin, which is super pretty. It's probably not a product that I'll reach for all the time. But to be honest, I'm not a liquid highlighter person. The Made My Mitchell ones are amazing because they genuinely set and look absolutely blinding on the skin this is just like a really cute pretty glow i definitely think on the body this would also look really nice as well um, but yeah just for me not personally a product i would reach for all the time but i can't deny that it looks really pretty on the skin okay so now let's go back to the blush oh my goodness yes if you know me, you know I love my baby pink. I love pink in general, really. And that Dior blush is freaking stunning. And this, I think we have a very good dupe on our hands. And it is so affordable compared to the Dior one. I think the Dior one is like 30 quid or maybe more expensive than that. But this is beautiful. Yes, honey. Let's swatch these. I just put a picture in my Patreon group and someone asked for swatches. So I'm going to do that for you guys as well. Because <laughs> I want to see if they actually look similar. Swatched. Why is the Dior one just not as pigmented? That's so funny. Okay, so this is both the swatches. The top one is Revolution. The bottom one is Dior Rosy Glow. I think we may have just discovered a very affordable dupe for the Dior Rosy Glow. And that is something I have struggled to find. I feel like nothing has actually come really close to it. But this, you all need to run out and buy it now. No, I'm actually shook right now. That is crazy. I'm so happy we have an affordable dupe for it. The way I just ran to TikTok to make a video about that is not even funny. Like, so many people are going to be buzzing to have a drugstore dupe of Dior Rosy Glow. I'm so excited about it. But anyway, yeah, the blush is beautiful on the skin. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next, we're going to move on to the Aura Powder in Universal Prism. This also retails for £6.99. And as you can see, if I can open it back up. It is like a marbled, slightly coloured pressed powder. Let me just read the description. So it says, give 360 glow with this universal prism powder. You'll be radiant from all angles with this transformative light reflective formula that melts into the skin for serious shine. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't set my whole face with this because honestly, guys, it would be my worst nightmare. It's not a product... I would set my face with I need like that really loose powder to set my oils in place I need like yeah I need like a brush like this where it is like really fluffy I don't want 
to have like a really intense shine from this powder. So I'm just going to dab it on my brush. It has a little bit of kickback, but let's apply this and see what it does. Uh, let's firstly apply it to my forehead and see what we're working with. Oh yeah, there we go. So I'm really not sure if you're going to be able to tell, but there is like a slight glow. It's not super intense glow, which to be honest with you, you, <laughs> to, to be honest with you, I prefer anyway, because as I said, I don't like to look wet on the skin because I have oily skin. You can definitely tell here in my nose that it does have a little bit of a glow to it but it's not like a super intense radiant glow, you know? Just gonna kinda just go over, go over my cheeks with it. Just sort of use it on my high points. I definitely think this is a nice powder. If you were um, one of those people that loved that Revolution Pro marbled pressed powder, like the really big one, and it just gave your skin like a really nice glow, you're definitely gonna like this. Um, for me personally, it's not something I'm gonna reach for all the time because it is a glowy powder. I think it's perfect for the theme because it is like a fantasy festival sort of theme. So yeah, you definitely want like glowy skin and this is the perfect product for that. But in my everyday life, this is not something that I'm going to reach for and that that's just my personal opinion as much as that looks really pretty on the skin I do need to put some highlighter on so this is actually in the same packaging funnily enough um this is the um revolution diamond glow highlighter and yeah I'm just gonna pop a little bit on because I can't not have an intense highlighter on Fabulous. And then to set my face in place, I'm going to use the Amelia Olivia Glow Miss Milk because this sets your face in place but it gives like a glowy finish which is perfect for this makeup. Okay, so now my base is all complete. This is what we're looking like. Let me know what you think of the products so far. Now we're going to move on to eyes. So as I said, there is an eyeshadow palette in this collection. This is the Hyper Real palette. This is what it looks like and yes, it is indeed all shimmer. Now, we know how I feel about all shimmer palettes. I'm not the biggest fan. I do love at least a couple of mattes to work with and then to showcase the shimmer, but I get it. Again, it goes with the fantasy festival theme. Okay, so let's read what they say about the eyeshadow palette. So this retails for £7.99. It says, take your look to transformative new levels with this hyper real palette for the eyes and face. Eight marbled holographic color flip shadows that take new forms in the light, the shimmers add dimension and otherworldly sparkle to any look. Use fingers or your favourite brush to apply shades from the palette to your lids and face. Select a single shadow for subtle sparkle or layer up to make a statement. Okay, I guess we're going to be doing an all shimmer look today. I think I'm just going to pop like a tiny bit of um, super base on and hello, I should be zoomed in. Let me just adjust you. I'm kind of feeling the like blue and green sort of vibe. Firstly, I'm going to take this blue one here. I'm going to, I am going to take it on my finger actually, because I do feel like these will apply better on my finger. Um, and I'm, I'm going to apply this to like the second half of my lid. It definitely works really nicely and looks better when you build it up as well. Might also be because I'm using my finger. I think next I'm going to take the um, mint green shimmer. This has a slightly different formula. I'm going to take this on my brush. Oh, I think it's a putty maybe. And I'm going to apply the green like in the front of the lid. Oh, okay. So I definitely prefer the formula of this blue one just because this green one kind of just has like yeah, it's got that more putty texture to it that you guys know I am not a massive fan of. But also the puttiness like just sets in, uh, not sets, well it kind of does, it like sits in the crease of my eyelid. And yeah, I'm just not like a massive fan of them. But the blue, however, is absolutely stunning. It looks more dimensional, it looks more reflective. This just kind of gives like flat shimmer and it's not like, my favorite definitely i think i'm gonna take a little bit of this purple shimmer i'm just gonna take this on like an angled brush oh okay this one again has a quite a bit of a 
a crumbly like thicker texture i'm just going to apply a little bit of that to my lilac lash line i don't think it's going to work very well though because this formula is quite crumbly yeah this purple is very very crumbly can you see that i'm hoping you can see that it's just it's quite messy and then for the inner corner and brow bone i'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette Oh wow, that's very intense. Okay, so this is my like all shimmer eye look. It's definitely not my favourite because as I say, I'm not a fan of just shimmer eyeshadows on me. I definitely need like those matte underneath them just to make them pop a little bit more i'll save all my final thoughts for the end but i'm just gonna hop off camera pop some mascara on and then we can test out these lip okay i'm back so i put some mascara on i put the revolution whisper fire false lash mascara on just to give the eyes a little bit more dimension it looks pretty like don't get me wrong it does look pretty and i know some people love all shimmer looks but it's just never personally been something for me um i definitely think these um more like top row shimmers look better than the bottom row as i say this one has a lot more dimension and shimmer reflect this one doesn't and it's like setting in my like eye creases so it's okay will i reach for this again probably not but it is a pretty palette that you can use either on its own or alongside another palette okay let's move on to the lip balms in this collection there are three to choose from they are five pounds 99 each and i think they might be ph ones no sorry the clear one is a ph one um, but these ones are just regular ones so these are what they look like i absolutely love the packaging i think it looks so classy i love it oh <gasps> Oh my goodness. Right, so this is the clear one. Can you see all those like shimmer specks inside it? Like that looks so cool. Then we have Kiss Pink. This one is so cute. It's just like a really nice baby pink shade. And then this one is Cherry Red. This is a really nice like deep lip balm. But I am going to swatch all of these i really hope this is in focus but these are the free lip balms this is cherry red which has a beautiful like deep tone to it this is the pink one which has a really nice baby pink tint to it and then this is the clear one which as you can see has turned pink because it has ph in it it basically means it reacts to your lips or your skin. So this one for me actually turns out as a darker pink than the actual pink lip balm. Today's look definitely calls for a lip liner. I'm just going to use this one. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Baddest Beige lip liner, I think. I've basically filled in the majority of my lips. Um, I would love to try this cherry red, but I think it's going to be a bit too intense for this look. So I'm going to go in with the pink one and let's see how glossy this is. And I must say, I feel like these two have a different texture to this one. This one definitely has like more of that like oil slippery feel. Whereas I think because these have pigment in them, they have a slightly more like thicker texture. But let's see what it looks like. Although I must say, when you glide it on your lips, it actually is really nice. It almost has like a marshmallowy scent, which I absolutely love marshmallow scented anything. So I'm down with that. Ignore the skin on my lips. I definitely should exfoliate them beforehand. But this is the lip balm. It's super pretty and glossy on the lips. Paired with a lip liner is perfect for me. I would definitely use these on their own as well, but just to finish off this look, that's why I wanted to use it with a lip liner. But yeah, they feel really nice. I think they're affordable at six pounds because there is quite a lot of product in these. You get this much product and I feel like that will last you for ages, especially if you're like me and have a million lip balms. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, so that is the brand new Revolution Mood Switch Collection tested. This is my finished look. Let me know what you think. I would absolutely love to know in the comments. I feel like my opinion on this is very, like, mixed. Some of this collection I love. Some of this collection I'm a bit like, mm, probably won't use that again. My favourite things from this collection are no doubt the blush and the lip balms. I absolutely love these. If you're looking to get anything particular from this collection firstly number one absolutely everyone needs to run and buy this now but i also love the lip balms and lip balms are so in at the moment i know everyone and their nan does them but if you're looking for some new affordable ones these are really nice 
all three of these sort of have the same opinion. They're super pretty on the skin. Will I reach for them again? Most likely no, but if these are the type of products that you use, they are good products. Like this gave a really nice glow to the skin. All the shimmers apart from the green one were really nice and reflective on the skin. And this gave like a really nice pink shimmer. So they are nice products. They're just personally not something that I would reach for on the daily. Also forgot to mention the bag. Bag is very cute. I will no doubt use it. I have so many makeup bags. I'm always looking for new ones. Very pretty and holographic. And you can definitely get a good amount of products in here i do actually though think it's quite expensive that's 10 pounds you can definitely get more affordable um makeup bags that can hold a lot more but it is really pretty and if you're someone that travels a lot then i would definitely check it out okay so that was me testing out the brand new revolution mood switch collection i really hope you enjoyed this video i can't believe we've discovered a drugstore dupe in this like i'm so happy with this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button comment down below let me know what you think of this collection i would love to know your thoughts and opinions and of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i'll see you in my next video bye